back again and this is going to be the next position we do on our what do i call this thing the action pose position of the week so this is number three if i'm not mistaken so this is more of a flying pose kind of a, a, a coming to you pose or taking off just coming straight at you pose so yeah you see this a lot in comics so i decided to do this one and show you guys how to do it break it down and show you how to do it so without further ado let's just jump right into this thing oh subscribe i said i was going to keep trying to start saying that in the beginning subscribe tell people yeah the whole nine yards help me develop my channel and yeah subscribe all right let's get into this okay so let's get started with this third drawing in the series so and i, I say this in the first two and i'll say it in all of them the first thing you want to do is have the image in your head basically what you want and then you do the rough on your paper so that it won't fall off of your paper so <clears throat> this one's going to be kind of a, a flying position like an attack flying position and as i say you want to keep it rough and you've seen this a lot this is a lot of uh, uh jim lee uses that and superman and i think a lot everybody uses this position pretty much I'm sure you've seen it a number of times put it that way so <clears throat> I just have to get it right in my head and get it down on paper so as I say you want it to be really rough you don't want it to be you don't want to put any detail into it at this point you just want to get it on the paper to where you want to where you're happy with it and I'm trying to place the shoulders because I want this to curve down and the other shoulder here give them a tilt and then one part of the arm and then the next part of the arm and I don't want it to come off like it did on the last drawing so that is going to be bring the head down that might be a little too high for me so I want to keep it lined up and this is why <clears throat> this is why you continue to sketch first and the shoulders in there so what do I want the fist about maybe about right there give or take you I mean you could place the fist anywhere you could place it here and it would come like that but I'm gonna try something different in this position as I say it's been used a lot so you can you can augment it I don't think that's the word I'm looking for you can adjust it to fit your script so let me see give it a little thought of where I want the fist to be at just a little bit above the head So this is his shoulder. Okay, triangle for shoulder. That let's just and this is one of the hard things for me to do is to position the arms to where I'm I'm happy with it. And legs. I don't know, it's just legs and arms are so simple to do, but trying to position them in the right spot for me is kind of hard. Let's 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 go with that and see what we have. So the first thing you want to uh, talk about is if you're doing a shot where a person is leaned over or leaning forward, then you will see this part here, the shoulders. And so all of that is represented by doing a triangle. The triangle, the center triangle is where the neck comes down. There's a V in the neck. And then on the side of the V, you'll have these two little U's. And that's the person's shoulders because they go up behind the neck. So you, if, especially if they're muscular. And then the center line, let's say just right here. So the delts are going to be circles that actually, just think of this as a, some kind of spear and it, pokes into a melon or something and it's on both sides where is that other one right here 
and that's on both sides. So you're going to skewer these two circles here. And then the chest, once you lean forward like this, that becomes like one piece. The chest just comes from the circle and goes around. Now with a position like this, you won't have to worry about too much stomach or, or crotch because it depends on how much this person leans is leaning. Now let's do this. You might see, let's just say I'll give him I'll give him a little bit of side. If he was twisted so I could see more side like this, then you could see all of this, but I have him pretty much straight, coming straight forward. I don't have much side to show. So you won't see any lats. You won't you really won't see any lats because the chest puffs out. So I'll give him okay, the chest is here. Let me switch to red. Because I got so many lines. The chest is here. So we'll give the rib cage will come out just a little bit. Let me turn this over. Maybe like that, bring it out a little bit more. And then the first set of abs will be close. And then maybe the next set right here. And then some crotch. Maybe, maybe a little bit right here. But then you're also going to see maybe a little bit of, of um, what is that, your, your side, your waist. Like that. Now, one thing about this is when the arm comes up, it's going to push that shoulder up here you have that long shoulder right here the shoulder muscle here you have this one here but it pushes up when this arm comes up and let me see if I can get this in here before I switch and try to show you what I'm talking about since this is going to come around this arm is going to come out like that so what I'm trying to say is, if I can say it, you have your chest. You have your, your delt, and you have your arm. Your V, your neck, and your head. Now, the delt is going to be shaped like this. Most people know that. Now, when you start to raise it up, it's going to be shaped like that. You're going to lose some of that. And then when you take it all the way up, it's going to be like more like that. Depending on how, how high it is, it's going to come around. And I hope that's still on camera, like so. So that means it's going to scrunch up that, that, um, shoulder blade shoulder blade shoulder blades in the back that shoulder so your chest is going to come down like this it's going to scrunch up and then you're going to go to your your collarbone and the other one like that and especially if that arm is down and your neck hopefully you can see that because like that and your arm comes out from there and then you would have that lat. Now, if you saw it from the top, I don't even know if I want to try to get into that right now. You have your V, your, your diamond. And that depends on how, how high it's raised. Coloring it so you can see it better in your chest but it's going to double and before I get so far into making mistakes let me just get back to the drawing so that's going to come around it's going to, it comes all the way to the back comes around to the back the arm and this arm is foreshortened and then the hand And 
that's just almost a square, but it's more of a, to do a hand. Instead of doing a square, you do kind of a curve like that, and then your, your thumb, because your fingers actually curve in as you, um, as you what? As you close them. Maybe I need to go back to bed and start again. Like that. It's not just a square. So I put a bit of a curve in there and your thumb. And I'll change that and straighten it up in a minute. So, all right. So this leg is going to come out and down. Let me switch to blue. Make sure I'm still in focus. It's going to come out and come down. So it all fits under there. My thumb has been cramping like crazy. Too much drawing and weightlifting, I guess. And that's another thing, too. You have to determine how far your leg is going to come out. And it is going to come back around this point here. You have your waist, your crotch, or your love handles, your crotch, and it's going to come from behind. It's not going to come right here out of it. It's going to come and go behind it. So you have this curve, it curves around here, dips, comes out, and your knee is here. So this one, we're just going to have it placed back. So it's not a circle, but, but what, Brian? Okay, half a circle. I was gonna say, it has shape to it. It's not just a circle, but it has a little, little flatness and curves out to it. You know, I have to stop and look at this one later because I might not be happy with that, but we'll go with it for now. Shoulder, chest, the other one, and this, remember this, this separates and it goes around the back because this one is, is not twisted up. It will be a circle. Then you'll have your arm going back. And then down and you want to curve it in don't bring it straight out like that curve it in because when you get curves it looks a little more powerful so this is going to cover some of the, that forearm and then your fist and then if you can bring don't bring your fist straight down like this it's weak looking always at the wrist curve your fist in just a little bit more so whenever you draw a fist, try to curve that wrist in like that. It makes it more powerful. Bicep, tricep. Now, depending on the face, you don't want the face way up here and you don't want it way down there. So let's see, I'll start the chin here. And, excuse me, a lot of times you can get away with drawing a, a rectangle for the face, for the head, not the face, and then just kind of chop it off. Find out how far you want your chin to go over. It's easier to pose a position that way or put a head that way. Find out where your chin goes over and then draw your lines up for your jaws and then make a circle. Circle at the top. And you really won't see much neck. You see this part because the neck comes in. And as I say, as I say you see the shoulders. And then there's like a little upside down V here. Sometimes if they're really muscular. So let's see what I have here. This might be, might be one of those times where I will stop and pause the video to see if I'm happy with this. Because you have your forearm here, and hopefully this one won't go into 30 minutes. You have your fist, you have your, fore, your wrist, and your forearm, and then that goes out to a larger size. So when you, when you draw that, coming at you this will actually curve in a little bit like so but then you have to know that it does connect with the bicep 
So it depends on how much you actually turn it in the way it will look. I'm knocking stuff off. So you have to have this small piece. Then you have this. The elbow probably won't be seen. And I don't like drawing real hard with this red pencil because that, I don't know, that really doesn't erase as well to me. You have to have room for the bicep. But it is foreshortened. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this hand. And what I'm doing here is you have your square per se, and then you cut it just a little bit right here. So that's back to the drawing board again. You have your square for the hand and you cut it in like that. And this is where your fingers will bend in. And that's four. And then your thumb comes around like that. So this is your knuckles. And this is your turned in part of your fingers. And then you have your hand. It's not all just square like this. There is some part where your fingers do bend in. So that's what that is. So let's do this first one. The second one is going to come up just a little higher, and then they're going to start going downhill. Hopefully you can see this. And this one here is going to turn in. As I say, they, they kind of turn in. And this one is higher, and it curves like that as well. So depending on the angle, you will see some meat here. And then you have your thumb. Comes up. It's a joint and it curves around. Let me do red. I might have to go to regular lead pencil. Because when I do too much with the red and the blue, it gets really hard to see. And my palm. Another part of my palm, like so. Bicep, tricep, like that. Now, actually, I could turn that fist over a little bit more to show some more of this. because you do have some meat that comes out of that, from that finger. Whenever you bowl your fist up, you'll have that. And a good example while I'm doing this is you, you ball it up. You see how this finger comes in and this one is pretty much, these two are pretty much straight down almost. This one comes in just a little bit. This one is down and these two come in and they have a curve around there, just like these curve. They go into the palm. You have the, your, your two pieces of your palm, your thumb comes up and breaks here and comes across. But that was the underside. This is more like that. So let me stop here and take a look at this before I try to ink it and see. This was a kind of a quick drawing. And get your leg muscles here and your knee comes out of it. like that. I tend not to do a lot of leg muscles when I draw because I focus on the face and the uh, chest more than anything else. And maybe I'll get into a leg video, leg muscle, leg kind of video one day. Okay, so this is there, that's there. Maybe that separates elbow and I think that's going to be it. Let me pause this and look at it and see if I have any great mistakes.
All right. I didn't change much. I played with the face a little bit, but I want to keep it blank because your character might not look like that. You just you you put your character's face in there. So let's do this 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 hand that I forgot about. So as I said, you want to you want to twist it in. I'm gonna bring the palm and the thumb here, and you have that meat that comes in. Let's see which hand are we going with. You have that your thumb and that meat comes in. It's kind of almost like a circle with a Y. That's the easy way to do it. This letter Y here for the fingers. So come in, circle. And then you do your, your letter Y, your, it comes down to this, this one joint here, and then your letter Y. And that makes it look like the finger is being turned in when you do that letter Y. Looks like that finger is being bent and that thumb is, that thumb is covering it. Like so, that's a little off, this little piece here, that's why I usually don't draw that little piece. And then you can add a second finger to it. And that might be a little long, but you get the gist. If I can draw for some strange reason. See, I don't draw with pencil because the pencil, to me, compared to the blue pencil, is too smooth. It's like you put your you put your pencil to the paper and it slips. Whereas you put this one to the paper, it's got some bite. You have to actually work with it. So if I'm doing this, it won't slide around compared to a pencil. And your pencil is always too dark and um, hard to erase. So yeah, see a little bit of thumb there, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll do that in the wash in the ink in the inking part so let's ink this and see what we have so I will speed this up and hopefully we'll be finished in about 15 minutes or so depending on if I start talking or rambling anymore let's do this All right, and there you have it. I just played with a little bit of the inking, just just playing around, throwing some some hatching lines there. And you would you would do that depending on the light of uh, the light source. And that's one thing when you when you draw before you shade, you have to determine where's my light source coming from. Is it coming from back? Is it coming from the bottom side or whatever? And that way. If it was coming from the side, let's just say from the side, then you would uh, put your shading in where you needed it to be, like over here. So everything on this side would be lighter and everything on this side would be darker. Well, of course, you know that if you're into comics, you, you know about all of that and you determine. So that's why I don't really shade. I just put a little couple lines just playing around. So that's going to be it for this flying uh, video. And this one would be basically to use this position uh to me to me it would be basically if the the hero just took off he just took off and he's coming at the camera you know in a powerful um flight you know like he just got mad he got his energy and he just just took off or it could be the other way around he could be coming down on somebody and just before that 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 one you know serious blow so depending on you know the angle of it or how you turn it to me, that's that's what um, this position is going to be. Either you're just taking off, coming right past the camera in that strong position, or you're about to deliver that blow to somebody in that strong position coming at the camera. All right, so that's going to be it for this one. Stay tuned for the next one, and I will see you guys later. Oh, forgot to sign it because I'm thinking about just like giving these away 
just because you know once I get enough of them if people ask for them just I'll just give them away as some type of giveaway prize or something all right so let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can check it out and then that's gonna be it I will catch you guys later